Hello again, this is Johnny Hunt, and welcome to the Chord Melody Uke video series. I'm going to do something a little bit differently now. Uh, this song is in conjunction with a workshop that I either uh, am going to do soon, or depending on when you're watching, just recently did at uh, the ODPC Fun Fest in Everett, Michigan, which is the third weekend of July. And I'm going to be teaching a chord melody workshop. And these are the songs that I'm going to use, so you can use this as a reference if you were at the festival, or even if you're not, starting from scratch, uh, you'll, I think you'll still find these uh, helpful tutorials. I chose some simpler songs in uh, typical uke keys to do. Uh, the first one we're going to do is Ode to Joy, and we'll be playing in the key of G. And I tune low G because that's uh, I like having these notes down on the bottom end that you don't get with re-entrant tuning. But I'm going to play two different versions. I'm going to play one version the way I would play it, and then I'll go back and not use this uh, low G string. So if you tune high G, uh, you'll still be able to get the elements of what we're trying to teach here. And what we're trying to do is not so much uh, build a repertoire of songs for you, but just to give you some pointers so you can take the songs that you'd like to play and uh, learn to play them chord melody uke style. So again, for, this is an Ode to Joy. It'll be in the key of G, so I'll go ahead and play through it once, and uh, then we'll talk about measure by measure what needs to happen for you to learn how to play it. So, Ode to Joy. <laughs> top three strings and we'll just leave the G out. So there you go, uh, that's how it should sound ideally. Uh, of course there's always little glitches in there that you'll want to work on and smooth out as well. But uh, I'll go through it now and we'll add some captions and I'll just show you uh, note by note how to play Ode to Joy. So here's Ode to Joy. Okay, We'll start with our conventional G chord and the melody starts here on the A string at the 2nd fret. So when you're walking up uh, to the 5th fret, you can either do it this way, or you can switch to this sort of a long G shape, and then that takes us right to the long D. So we're at the 5th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open, which you can either do by lifting, or you can re-grip it, but that's kind of inconvenient just for one note because you'll uh, be switching to F sharp minor, which is three, three, two, I'm sorry, four, four, three, two. And we're on the, the third string here, the third fret, fourth open, fourth at the second fret, and then uh, we're on the bar chord D, which can, it's pretty hard to get four fingers in there. I suppose you could do that. So I just like to bar at the second fret. Melody's on the top. And then reaching down with the pinky to the fifth fret of the third string. Or either way is good. Learn them both ways because both of those uh, positions will come in helpful at some point. And a lot of people get stuck because they say, oh, this is how you make a D chord. And this is a D chord too and there's lots of inversions up the neck, they're all helpful to know. So don't get stuck. You have to back up a little bit to be able to move ahead. So get familiar with some of these uh, less commonly used chord inversions. Uh, you'll find that to be very helpful. So meanwhile, back at the ranch. 
and then the, the same line again, back to G, melody on the top, and then to D, and then our, I guess this is an E minor, not F sharp minor. So we're on the third string at the third fret, fourth string open, and then we have just our D chord. Okay, here's where I like having that low note behind in the bass, because this is like what we call a parallel sixth. And if you tune high G, that's fine. You can just use the second string as the uh, bass line there. So now to the third line, a little different uh, melody line. So we go back to D, melody's on the top, string open. Back to G, fourth string, third string, fourth at second, third at the third fret. Back to D. Open, second fret, third fret of the high string. And back to G. All right, now this is probably the only really tricky part here. We've got some less commonly used chords. Nothing that you can't do. So we're back to D, open at the fourth, second fret. And this would be uh, B seventh, which is four, three, two, two. And then we're going from the second fret of the top string to open for the melody. Back to E minor, four, four, three, two. Or you, you can leave this finger out because you're not you're going to be fingering the next note open on the top string. So fourth string open and back to D. Now we're on the the second string, the C string at the second fret, and then with the fourth line is just like the first. Okay, so that's Ode to Joy. Uh, go through it a few times until you feel comfortable with it. If for some reason you get stuck and you need a little personal help, I'm happy to try to provide that. Send me an email. It's uh, chordmelodyuke at yahoo.com. Or uh, if we're not friends on Facebook, uh, we can get hooked up that way. It's facebook.com slash johnny.hunt. So uh, enjoy learning Ode to Joy, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon here on the Chord Melody Uke YouTube video channel. Thanks.